Welcome Libras and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 31st of October through to Sunday the 6th of November 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages? To the question, how does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 31st of October through to Sunday the 6th of November. Thank you. Oh wow, perfect timing, trust. It, I feel that for many of you, you're being guided to believe, believe in love, believe in, in a specific connection. I'm also feeling as it, what I also am picking up, you're being guided that it's the perfect time to learn something new, some, 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 some skill or hobby or something. I'm just getting, it's the perfect time. I feel that it's going to open up um, some new possibilities for you. Many of you, divine spirit universe is definitely around you. Have faith. OK, wow. Have faith in this romance. Many of you, whoever you're connecting with is your twin flame. I feel that you're being guided to keep an open mind because it feels as if there's been a disconnect. There's been a disconnect and many of you may not know like what's going on with the person that you're connecting with. I feel that you're being guided, that the timing is perfect for perhaps the two of you to get to know each other, celebrate this connection this week. Um, I do feel whoever you are connecting with has felt disconnected from you. I feel that they're thinking about you quite a lot, quite a little bit heartbroken that maybe, I don't know, Libras, have you pulled back your energy from somebody? Because you are trying to work out um who this person is in your life what is the significance or is this person the one yes they are with that romance i very 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 much feel that you and this person um are definitely being protected i feel that you're being guided to keep an open mind and trust trust and have faith that the perfect timing, I, I'm almost picking up that divine timing is always perfect. And for many of you, you might even get a little bit of a sign, synchronicity, a dream, a vision, something, something to let you know that if whatever this disconnect that I'm picking up, um, it's the perfect time for you to come together. All right. The perfect time. Um, or perfect timing is on your side. Things will balance out um, when it comes to romance. Uh, children, your love life is being affected by children. So um, either one of you or both of you have children um, that might be affecting the connection. Perhaps that's why one of you or both of you pulled away. Um, it could also represent, this might not be for all of you, maybe one of you um, may want children and the other one doesn't. And that may be causing a bit of a um, stumbling block. But I feel that you're being guided if you believe and trust in divine spirit universe, you and this person definitely will be blessed with children if that is a factor for you. All right. If you or the person doesn't want one, uh, want children, um, whoever wants the children, I feel that it it's like it's uh, children are destined for you, Libras. But it may be affecting the connection because one of you has children already, or one of you doesn't want to have children. Thank you. Getting to know each other. Yeah, this is what I was um, picking up when I was meditation, meditating for this reading. I feel whoever you are connecting with, um, either there literally has been a breakup, okay? 
or um, this person has felt really disconnected from you and really kind of heartbroken that you've pulled your energy back. I feel that they do want to get to know you. They want to spend time with you. And I feel that you're being guided to get to know this person. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. There is something between the two of you that is almost imprinted in your DNA. This romance is um, definitely something that has been um blessed okay something that divine spirit universe i feel is guiding and leading both of you and divine timing is at play here um this week might be the perfect time to reach out to this person um to pick up getting to know this person maybe for some of you to Bring in some flirtatious energy. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Um, this is the perfect time this week to do that. It's all part and parcel of getting to know each other. Keep an open mind as well, okay? Keep an open mind. Okay, Libras, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Libras. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 31st of October through to Sunday the 6th of November 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all I'm also feeling that it is the perfect time to study something new, take up a new hobby, um, Libras. It will help ground you and connect with your inner child to be a little bit more flirtatious and bring some light-hearted energy to this connection. Wow. Well, whoever you are connecting with, they are spiritually still at the moment. It feels that, like I said, this person feels that you've pulled back your energy. They feel really disconnected from you and it feels as if they are quite sad about it. So that's why I feel it's the perfect time to bring in some flirtatious energy. All right. Uh, with the four of wands, this person definitely sees you as long term commitment um, marriage. And it's right underneath the romance card, um, which is my twin flame card. Yeah, Justice. Look, Libra, you are coming up front and centre of your own reading. You are being guided with the Four of Wands and the Justice card side by side. There is a soul contract. Whoever you are connecting with, 100%, one of you holds the divine feminine energy and one of you hold, holds the divine masculine energy. This connection, the two of you are almost intertwined. Your DNA is intertwined. Your souls know each other. I feel that you're being guided. This connection will balance out. Both of you want reconciliation. Both of you want to kind of get things back on track. OK, um, but there's definitely a soul contract and you guys may have been married. In fact, I would say that you were married in past lifetimes and there might have been something to do with um, children in a past life experience um, that you guys have come together or there is a separation between the two of you to work that out. Um, it may be that the topic of children um, is something that is being brought to your attention, particularly with this retrograde that's going on at the moment in Gemini, um, which is going through all the way until the 12th of January, which Divine Spirit Universe is going to be shining a light on all of us, all areas of our life that we need to pay attention to and heal. 
Okay, so it's really, really important not to lash out at people, be very mindful of what you say, what you do. I feel that if the topic of children either is a bit of a taboo, um, it might be something that you're being guided to keep an open mind with. Even if either one of you has children or wants children, doesn't want children, children is affecting this relationship and it might be because the two of you were married in past lives there was something to do with children that hasn't been healed yet all right wow look at that the star card sugars libras whoever you're connecting with from your viewpoint you already know that you've lived many lives with this person you know it, your soul knows it. You might be ignoring it, but your soul knows it. The two of you might have had children, okay? Or the two of you were siblings in past lifetimes. That's another way I could read it. But this person is most definitely your wish fulfillment. And you do recognize that you've lived, in fact, you've lived many, many lives with this person. You also could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Thank you. And then we've got the three of wands. So I feel many of you are waiting, waiting for something, perhaps waiting to see if this person is going to reach out to you, waiting for a sign whether or not you should reach out to them. I feel that your card here, flirt and perfect time is saying to you that it's the perfect time to reach out to this person. And as you do, there's a new beginning for both of you. It's almost as if a, this could be a new love. It could be the connection is transformed into a new love because there is a soul contract here. Neither one of you could walk away from each other, even if you tried or walked away from love in general if you like if this is not resonating with a particular person uh many of you um somebody is observing you okay and many of you you might be feeling that energy but there's a new beginning in love justice again i, I look I, do you know what? Either the two of you have got Libra in your chart, but Libra, you're coming out really, really strongly. This person with the two of wands, the reason why they're still spiritually still is because they're at a crossroads with regards to you. OK, I feel that this person definitely wants this new beginning. They want things to balance out, but they may not know what direction to take. So it's like both of you are almost like at a standoff. You're waiting for the right opportunity to reach out to this person. They're spiritually still waiting. They've got a choice to make. Do they come forward? Do they remain, you know, at a distance? You're the one, it's your reading, and I feel that you're the one that can balance this out. And if you are the one that's feeling a little bit sad or disconnected with a particular person, okay, or in love in general, I feel that you're being guided that you can turn that frown upside down. Because look, this sadness here, this is almost duality, the dark and the light. And you're being guided to focus on the light within. All right. You also could be dealing with um, an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. Um, but I'm just getting a really strong feeling, um, Libra, that both of you might have a bit of Libra in your chart. Well, you definitely because it's you. Um, but I think this person might have a little bit of Libra in their chart. And then we have the Emperor. Um, so Aries is coming out very, very strongly here. I feel that this person feels very, very strongly about long term commitment marriage with you. Like this person's soul knows the connection, but in their human form, they also know it. I feel that this person either um, might be a leader 
okay like they may have a good job um they might be a little bit controlling and maybe that's why if you pulled your energy back that's why i'm feeling that this person feels a little bit disconnected they might have come on a little bit too strong a lot of fiery energy with wands the emperor the aries there wands here there's a lot of passion this person has for you all right and it might have been a little bit overwhelming wow the uh, King of Swords in reverse. So either this person felt that you cut them out, you and and I did say that there, I mean, there could have been a breakup here, um, or it could just be a disconnect. Okay, maybe there was something that you had said that this person like literally took it as, um, or they said something they may have taken it literally like maybe you didn't want to be with them i don't know but something was said and it feels as if with the king of swords that this person is really now unsure they're unsure about the connection they're unsure about what you want really indecisive whether to come in and talk to you do you remember i was saying that this person is heartbroken over feeling really disconnected well there's the three of swords there's the heart there's the heartbreak card again libra look at that heartbroken over feeling really disconnected from you but the good news is is that it's come out in reverse so that means that there is some sort of recovery either they are getting some sort of clarity or if they had said something um, that either upset you or felt that you said something that really upset them, this is all about forgiveness, yeah? But like I said, it's going to take um, for you to bring in that lighthearted energy because this is the perfect time to do so. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify, thank you. Wow. Uh, so you're being guided to be patient, be patient with the situation, be patient with them, be patient with yourself. You could have Sagittarius in your chart um, or they could have Sagittarius in their chart. I feel that you're being guided to balance out your emotions because with this particular justice card, we have got the duality of dark and light energy. OK, so many of you may still be in that kind of kind of darkness feeling that maybe even you're feeling a little bit sad i don't know but you're definitely waiting for something okay you're being guided to be patient with the situation and most definitely balance out your emotions or maybe that's what divine spirit universe is doing right behind you okay in the background helping you to balance out your emotions uh, now with the empress look at that the emperor and the empress um guys this is just really giving me confirmation that this person is your divine counterpart okay um i feel that um it feels as if um hmm Do you know something, even though this, the emperor and the empress um, is a divine counterpart, either this is your energy, I feel many of you, you are ready for long-term commitment, marriage, I feel that um, you've got high standards, definitely, I feel that you are like ready to have a family or ready to settle down. Um, but the Empress is in reverse. See, and the only reason why I'm hesitating slightly because it feels as if you know that this person and you have lived many, many lives together. Um, and with the Empress coming out, but there you see their energy here is the Emperor. Um like they want to move forward with this connection, but perhaps don't know how to because they're at a crossroads. Um, so this empress must be your energy, like male or female, okay? Um, 
very nurturing. I feel that this person actually thinks the world of you. Um, you're ready. You're you're ready for long term commitment, marriage. Yeah, but you might not be showing it. With the empress coming in reverse, this is showing me that. Yeah, this is your energy. You're the one that's disconnected from the person. You know that this person is your wish fulfillment. You know that this is somebody that you've lived many lives with. Like, I don't think you guys deny that, but you have disconnected from them. And I feel that you guys are really thinking about that. It almost feels as if you're resisting the connection, um, Libras, because this is resistance. This is disconnect. That's possibly why they're saying to you, you need to balance out your emotions and trust divine spirit universe has got this romance. It is the perfect time to reach out and bring some lightheartedness to the connection. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you clarify? How does the soulmates of thank you and thank you? Wow, look at that. The hermit in reverse. And the strength card in reverse. Look at the reversals coming out here. So you guys are definitely res resisting this connection for whatever reason. You guys might also be resisting about something that you're being guided to study or a hobby that you're being guided to take up it's going to serve you well in the future but you're resisting it right now okay that's just an fyi just a small note you've disconnected from the person with the hermit card in reverse um well the hermit face up is about somebody that is seeking guidance wanting to make wise choices the fact that it's come in in reverse, um, Libras, is letting me know that many of you are either feeling a little bit isolated, withdrawn, maybe even a tad bit of depression. Because you might be feeling that disconnect. The strength card in reverse, you're feeling weak. This is weakness. This is feeling withdrawn, isolated. This is your energy disconnecting from this person. Many of you, you might be waiting for the strength and courage to reach out to this person. You're being guided. This is the perfect time this week to do so. You also could be dealing with... Um, a Virgo and a Leo, or you could have Virgo and Leo in your chart. And this, oh wow, this card stood <coughs> as I picked up the deck. This card stood here. This person is your twin flame. Yeah. Uh, well, we saw that with the divine counterpart with the emperor and the empress. We can see that with the romance card and the lover's card has come in just to like confirm it for you. This person 100% is your twin flame. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini on your chart. Whatever is going on, this is the perfect time to reach out and get to know the, this person. It might be like you guys are getting like a restart, okay? The key thing is to bring in some lighthearted energy. There's a new beginning. Yeah, look, with the king of uh, coins, I feel that it's this person. This person is ready for long-term commitment marriage, but they've pulled back their energy because you've pulled back your energy. I am also seeing uh, Leo and Virgo here, okay? So I feel that this person may have pulled back your energy and that might be why you're feeling a little bit weak, if you reach out to this person, a little bit disconnected, this person might have put quite a bit of work into this connection. And so them pulling back, you, you've noticed it. You have noticed it. This person is definitely suppressing how they feel right now because they are at a crossroads. They're spiritually still. They don't know which way to go with you. you know, they, they are ready for long-term commitment. They are ready for... Um, that, that four of wands energy they know that there's a soul contract with the justice and the four of wands you guys were married in past lives you know it they know it 
but they are suppressing um, coming forward right now. And you're feeling that disconnect and it's really putting you in a position of weakness. I feel you're being guided. It's the perfect time to reach out, get to know each other again, but come in with a real flirtatious energy, like a lighthearted energy. Nothing too serious, just a lighthearted message. And all of a sudden, a new beginning is um, what you are embarking on. And I feel both of you are being guided to take a leap of faith and trust this romance. Divine Spirit Universe has got you both. Thank you. Oh, my God. And just to like double it up to just make sure uh, there is a lot of cards here that is indicating marriage. The faith card, Hierophant, is all about marriage, long term commitment, the four of wands, the lovers card, the justice. There is a deep, deep soul contract to do with marriage, long term commitment. This person has been divinely guided into your life. You know it and they know it. OK, you're being guided to have faith. Take that leap of faith and bring in some lighthearted energy. I feel that you're being guided to turn that frown upside down. You have the power to balance out this connection because both of you want to reconcile. Justice is all about reconciliation. It also indicates that there is a soul contract here and the soul contract is deep. Like you guys, without a shadow of a doubt, were married in past lives. Um, you also could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus. And then we've got the chariot. I feel as if this person definitely wants to rush in after some sort of healing. We see from the three of swords, this is recovery. So whatever was done or said or whoever pulled back, First, it really doesn't matter. This person is coming out victorious um, to come forward, to take that leap of faith. Um, if you meet them halfway, okay? You could be dealing also with a Cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart. The chariot does represent the two of you are definitely from different backgrounds, different cultures, might even be from different countries for just a few of you, okay? I feel that you're being guided to keep an open mind and believe. If you believe Divine Spirit Universe has got your back, if you believe what your soul is already telling you, that you have lived many lives with this person, maybe as children, yeah, maybe you were siblings, but you were definitely, in one lifetime or another, were definitely married. I feel that you're being guided, that you have an opportunity for this love in this lifetime if you choose to take it. This person 100% is your, your twin flame, all right? Let's have a look and see what your advice is, Libra. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank Oh, oh gosh, look at that, what fell out, soulmates. <laughs> so not only is this person I feel in this lifetime... Um, and for many lifetimes, uh, your, your, your twin flame, but you are also very, very deep soulmates. And that, uh, you remember I was saying about children, I feel that many of you might have actually been siblings in past lives. And you've got to remember soulmates um, can come in many forms. It says here, soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers, and family members, many of you, the two of you were siblings in past life, but the twin flame connection cannot be diluted. Um, and the soul connection with the justice card coming out twice, it feels as if many of you might have had a few lifetimes being married to this person. Okay. But you are also, you are also soulmates as well. Look, you're being guided. Wait. Well, you are waiting. It says, take time to think on the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush. Do you remember we saw, be patient. You are waiting. I feel that you're being guided to wait until you've balanced out your emotions. But this week, at some point this week, it will be the perfect time for you to come in with some flirtatious energy with this person. But you definitely sort of kind of need to balance out your emotions because right now uh, you might operate from a place of weakness and, and divine spirit doesn't want that. And then we have energy. Try to keep a positive energy 
um, by surrounding yourself with positive people. So Libras, perhaps maybe Monday, Tuesday um, is not the right time to reach out to this person. Maybe surround yourself um, with um, some positive people. I, I feel that you're just being guided to um, raise your spirits yeah before you reach out with any kind of flirtatious light-hearted energy because it might come across a little bit false yeah um so be patient wait think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it and then trust trust divine spirit universe and keep an open mind it's time for you to raise the vibration of this connection this week at some point for some of you it might right be right at the end on sunday that you reach out to this person but it is the perfect time to reach out okay but balance out your emotions first okay i'm going to leave that there for you libras if it resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time i'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love peace and light you take care bye bye